Is it too late for you to start weight training? Let's think about it from this perspective. If you started today, where would you be a year from now? You'd be stronger and you'd be less likely to get hurt just doing things around the house or playing with your kids or your grandkids. Avoiding doing something that's going to make you stronger isn't going to make you stronger. It's probably not gonna surprise you to hear me tell you that it's not too late for you to get started, but m what might surprise you is when you find out what the recommendations are for people our age and older. Our age is the reason we need to be strength training, not a barrier. In this video, we'll talk about the real barriers we have to getting started with weight training and how to bust through them. Hey, I'm Tammy from LiftingMySpirits.com and I make resources for women over 40 who are working on improving their overall health and fitness. I did all of this while I was going through menopause, so I know it's not too late for you to start, let's start now. This might be hard to hear, but if you're telling yourself that you're too old to get started, you already know that that's not true. Something else is the real reason. But age isn't something that we can change. So we say it's our age because that's an easy way to win the argument with ourselves. But it's gonna help you win the argument with yourself if you understand why it is so important for you to deal with this right now. As we get older, we lose muscle mass and that's gonna cause weakness and also a lack of stamina. There's a couple reasons that we start to lose muscle that we can't do anything about. One of those is hormone changes. And another one is that our body becomes less efficient at using protein. But there are some things that people do to contribute to their muscle loss that they don't even realize are making that big of a difference. One is just being less active. It's kind of the use it or lose it. And the other one is not eating enough. Like you may not be taking in enough calories or you may not be taking in enough protein. Now this muscle loss is the same for men and women, but for women it affects us a little bit more because we're starting out with less muscle on our frame. And so as we age and we start to lose muscle, we become frail faster and we become more prone to having injuries from falls. More older women are getting into lifting now because they want to keep their muscle, they want to have strong bones, and it helps with stress management. It helps with sleep and, well, there's that whole, I just kind of would like to be a badass factor. You can look all over on the internet and you're gonna find recommendations for how much you should lift, but I went to the World Health Organization. The recommendations there are going to be for general health and not necessarily for some kind of sports training. So for adults aged 18 to 64, the recommendation is to do two full body workouts a week. What I thought was really interesting is that they changed the recommendation for people who are 65 and older to be three workouts a week, which I think is amazing. They're recognizing the fact that we are having issues with our health because we are losing muscle and you can do something about it. So what's stopping you? I know it was hard for me to get started. I've talked about that before. There are really four common barriers that stop us from going and doing the weight training. I didn't know what I was doing and I felt like if I went into the gym, I would look really stupid just trying to figure it out. So you can hire a trainer and work with a trainer in the beginning so that you can learn what you're doing. They can watch you, they can correct your form, they can give you some sample workout plans, and they can also give you some feedback about whether or not you're doing things correctly or not. Right now, there is tons of information online to help you out, and you need a little bit of help sifting through it, but there's a ton of videos on YouTube. If you wanna learn how to lift, you need to watch people who are smart about lifting, people who are giving out really good information, and it might be somebody who looks like you, but it might not be. That doesn't matter, what matters is the information. Okay, the second barrier, and this was also important for me, is that I don't wanna get hurt. But I want you to have this little mindset shift. If you're already weak, you're more likely to get hurt just at your house. You need to fix that. It isn't like it's gonna get better if you don't. In the gym, you're gonna pay closer attention to your form than maybe when you're moving boxes around your house. And in the gym, when you're working on something, if it doesn't feel right, you'll just stop. Now, if you're worried about getting hurt, I wanna remind you, and you can remind yourself, that building muscle around a joint provides stability to that joint. Increased strength improves your balance. Just keep reminding yourself that not using your body is going to make you weaker and more frail. Okay, the third barrier that gets in the way is that people really don't like the atmosphere of the gym, so they don't want to go. Hey, that's okay. You can start at home. And in the beginning, you're not going to need a lot of equipment to be able to make a lot of progress. You can do a lot of body weight exercises at home. And even if you went to the gym, that's probably where you'd be starting anyway. So you can do incline push-ups either outside or up against a countertop in the kitchen. You can do something called a wall sit or body weight squats to work your legs. And you can do planks to strengthen your core. 
You can get creative with the equipment at home too. It's like you really just need something that weighs something that you can hang on to. So get quarts of milk that have handles and then you can change the amount of liquid that's in there to change the weight. You can use laundry baskets. You can use a backpack with books in it. You can even take a sheet and wrap it around a post or a tree. To like just pull your body into it and that will work your back. After you've worked out at home for a while and you feel a little bit stronger, you're gonna be more motivated to try to make the gym work. There's a lot of equipment there that you're gonna wanna play with. Try the gym at a different time or a different day of the week when there's not a lot of people around. Another barrier is that we don't think it's going to work. If you do something consistently and sincerely, how could it not work? This is science, this is biology. Your body is going to adapt to what you do regularly. And while you might look around on social media at other people's physiques to get inspiration, I wanna caution you to, about going down that rabbit hole of comparison. Because no matter what you do, you're not going to become a different person. What you are going to be is a stronger version of who you are now. You're gonna keep learning, you're gonna keep adjusting, you're gonna keep changing your program so that it continues to be something you look forward to or something that keeps your progress going. And I wish I could tell you that the negative self-talk would stop, but it, it hasn't been my experience. So keep redirecting your negative self-talk to be something that's more positive. Remind yourself every day that your body will adapt, it will respond, you will get stronger. These things happen but they take time. Think of it as planting a tree. You don't plant the tree today and then expect it to give you shade tomorrow, right? It takes time. Are you ready to learn more? If you're a new lifter, click into this playlist. I've got a bunch of videos in there for you. And if you'd like to find out if you're eating enough protein, click into this one.